Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna do, it's not really a first impressions because I filmed this two days ago, but the audio sucked, but kind of a first impressions with the pure four-in-one love your selfie liquid foundation. Um, so let's get started, all right? So I'm gonna prime my face with the Touch and Soul um, No Problem. So at least you guys know where my base is starting from. I'm in the shade LN6. So my first impression was that I liked it. I liked the finish of it. It's very nice. The coverage isn't 100% full, but it is pretty darn full coverage. But we're gonna go in with the sponge and just perfect this. So I I've been wanting to try this foundation since it came out. And by a fluke, I went into Ulta just one random day a couple weeks ago. Um, all of Pure Foundations were on sale for 30% off. And so I finally picked it up. Because who doesn't like to, you know, save money? Definitely have to say, I can feel it. It's, it's a lightweight foundation, but I do feel it on my skin, which is a bummer. Not a huge deal, but I'm going to give it a minute to dry down. So, like, it does cut, like, cover a lot, but I won't say that it's so full coverage that it makes everything disappear, but it does take away lots. Mm. I'm going to conceal under my eyes, but since this is also a, can be used as a concealer, I'm just going to pat out the excess. Foundation is settling in my smile lines, which is unfortunate, but also very typical for most foundations that I use. So not a huge deal breaker. Okay, so for the foundation, it does settle really here in my smile lines. Um, but the good news is, is it blends right back out super quickly and super easily. So that's something to think about. Um, so, or try to find something else. I think I'll try it with the Tatcha Luminous Silk Canvas uh, primer next time because I know that really fills in those lines for me. Um, so I'll test it out that way. But as a, like a foundation, it's really nice. Like uh, as it's dried down and everything, I really don't feel it. I really don't feel it anymore on my skin, which is very nice. But for now, like it's really pretty and I like the finish of it. I like the way that it feels. It feels like my skin. So it doesn't, um, but then I also only did like a very light setting, um, which I used the pure four in one um, selfie powder. I don't know if it's love your selfie, but. It's the 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Makeup. So, like, I did use that, which does have F SPF in it. So, that's why there look there's some flashback right now with all of these lights on. And I look super pale. <laughs> that's why. Um, but in person, it looks really good. So, like, here in my mirror, I don't look as pale. I look like my natural skin tone. So, there's just that's something to keep in mind that it does settle in the lines and maybe I'll try not setting it at all um but I normally like to set my makeup 
So as first and second impressions, I do like it. It is a little bit of a bummer that it settles though. And mainly on this side, there's a very little bit here, like minimal. Um, and then like these lines are so predominant. I don't really count those because it's whatever, but it's here where it's like super noticeable that it's going into my fine, my smile lines. So it's up to you on what you want. And maybe I just need to use a little bit less too, because I did have a lot on my hand. So I'll try that as well. But overall, it is a, it's a nice foundation. Like the, the coverage is nice. The f um, lightweight feeling is really nice. Um, there's nothing really I can say about it. Like it's a bummer that it's not a, oh my God, try it first time. I love it type of thing, but you know, not everything can be winners the first time around. So I'll keep playing with it and I can, you know, update you guys along the way of whether or not I like it. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of every time I upload and I'll see you in my next one.